A very good morning to all of you. The systematic, logical and verifiable study of anything is science. So, experiments play a very important role in science. Unfortunately, we only emphasis on cramming of the theoretical knowledge. So I decided to perform some experiments. First, verification of laws of reflection of light. To perform this experiment, I use a card box available at my home as an optical bench. Then I put a white sheet, a draw a straight line, make a point of incident, a point there, and a normal 90 degree angle to that point that is the perpendicular to the mirror now i uh, drew a incident light ray which is and i took uh, incident angle 30 degree for that i used this protector 30 degree of incident angle of incidence that's incident ray uh, then I put uh, mirror and uh, two all pins on the incident light ray. Uh, I intend to see these two all pins and then uh, drop a third all pin in this line so that I can trace the light reflected by a mirror you can see here uh, they are in the same line so i drop one all pin here and then the another all pin these are the two all pins these two all pins give us a different light ray that is a reflected ray now with the use of these two points i draw the reflected light ray that's a reflected light ray and then measure the angle uh, between the reflected ray and normal which is also 30 degree so this is the verification of laws of reflection of light that is the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection the another law is all incident ray reflected ray and normal lie in a same plane that is in the plane of the paper so this is how we can verify the law of reflection of light the second uh, objective of this experiment the second experiment is all about the refraction of light through a rectangular glass slab to perform this experiment also use the white paper sheet and a rectangular glass slab a point i took a point that is point as a point of incidence uh, draw a normal to that point at that point to the plane of the rectangular glass slab that is the angle of 90 degree perpendicular then I draw a incident ray with an angle of incidence 30 degree here also incidence angle of 30 degree refraction is when a ray of light enters from one medium to another medium it bends from its original path here the two mediums are air and glass this is the incident light ray to all pins here also angle of incidence is 30 degree then I put the rectangular glass slip at its position and 
trace the light ray passing through air then to glass slave and then glass slave to air so reflection refraction took place two time because there is two times the medium changes first from air to glass and then glass to air here also you can see uh, at the place where the two all pins coincides with each other i drop an all pin that is how we can trace the light ray passing through a rectangular slit this is the third all pin and then the fourth one you can also perform this experiment and this experiment is a part of the practical uh, manual of your class so here we can see three light rays first incident light which is uh, passing through air and entering into the glass and then refracted light ray that is the ray which is passing through the glass slip and the third one is emergent light ray which is emergence which travel from glass to air again so the, the uh, here there are there is two, uh, refraction takes place twice so interestingly you can note that the angle of emergence is also 30 degree that is the equal to the angle of incidence when a light ray enters from a rarer medium to denser medium it bends towards the normal and when it enters from a denser medium to a rarer medium it moves it bends away from the normal so here when i draw a normal at the mm, plane of emergence here we can see the angle of emergence is also 30 degree so this is how we can trace the path of light passing through a rectangular glass slit angle of incidence and angle of refraction angle of incidence and angle of emergence both are 30 degree here we can also verify the law of refraction also if we measure the angle of refraction then we can verify snell's law that is the ratio of angle of incidence sine of angle of incidence to sine of angle of refraction is a constant value for the given pair of media and for the given pair of given color of light so this is how we perform refraction through a rectangular glass slit now the third experiment i perform today that is to trace the path of light passing through a rectangle uh, through a glass prism this is the triangular glass prism it is defected but the two sides which i select for uh, tracing the path of light are uh, accurate so there is no problem in performing this experiment first of all place the rectangular glass, uh, rect uh, glass prism a triangular glass prism on the plain sheet of paper and then again select an point of incidence draw a normal or perpendicular to that then we will draw an incident ray with an angle of incidence of 30 degree here also interestingly you can observe that the light is also passing uh, is changing medium two times from air to glass and then glass to air but unlike the glass slip the two refracting surfaces are parallel to each other here the two uh, sides where refraction takes place are not parallel to each other so uh, there is angle of uh, deviation is different for each color of light that is why when a white light ray enters into the prism different colors 
a white light ray that is seven colors of white light ray split in uh, split into the spectrum the splitting of white light ray into seven color seven colors is called dispersion so here dispersion takes place so the, uh, i put two all, all pins and now you can see these are two all pins when they uh, are in a same sense a line when they coincide with each other then i i we can drop an all pin there like that uh, we can trace the path of light passing through the glass prism for that at least minimum we can we have to uh, drop two all pins there so this is how it look like with the dots when the dots are connected you can see this is the emergence ray in glass slab the incident ray and emergence ray are parallel to each other but here the incident ray and the par, uh, emergence ray they are not parallel they have an angle which is called angle of deviation again here there are three light rays incident light ray that is in air in glass prism refracted light ray and the third one which is again in air is called emergence ray this is the refraction through glass prism the very important thing you have to notice and you have to remember is when a light ray white light ray enters into glass prism it is split into seven colors that is vibgyor so this is this phenomenon is called dispersion of light which is takes place in glass prism and not in glass slab angle of deviation so this is how i perform three small but interesting experiments which verify our theoretical knowledge thanks thank thank you all and uh, i want to uh, make an appeal to all of you that if you like this experiments please subscribe and share this video to maximum students thank you